what's up guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you how to play roblox on an acer chromebook specifically the c720 version now this chromebook does not have google play store enabled or is not compatible with google play apps specifically gaming apps because this chromebook it's more so a school kind of laptop if you guys know what that means as you can see down here on my launcher all of these are web based icons that you can click on and that will take you directly to a web page so for example if i click here on this youtube icon this pulls up my youtube page and since we're on youtube make sure you guys subscribe to my channel Barry White 149 and you're going to want to hit that notification bell because I will be on here making tons of videos and you guys will not want to miss out and today we are shooting for five likes on this video right now so to get into this video I do want to give you guys a little warning this is not a guaranteed version of playing Roblox this is just a test in which it allows you to test certain methods on different web browsers so i will show you how to do it but fair warning during this process it's going to be a lot of lag the main purpose of this video is to show you that yes i am capable to log into roblox and enter a game and play the game just not to the best of its quality now what you're gonna want to do is go to this website here sourcelabs.com and once you're on the website you're gonna want to create an account now before you guys start tearing my head off in the comment section yes you can sign up for the free trial it does not ask for credit card information until the trial period is over. You have 14 days of free live testing. Once you create your account, you verify your email address. So you'll go back into whatever email you use. Click the link inside the email and it will take you back to this page saying that it's been verified and now you can log in. Once you're logged in, you should see a screen like this, which is displayed on mine. You have your dashboard, you have your live testing tabs, tunnels, analytics, and archives. Basically, the only tabs you want to click on are dashboard and live testing. So we're going to click on live testing right now to show you guys. All right, as I stated, these are the options of web browsers that they offer for you to test. You select your version, you select your resolution, and you click over here, start session. If you wanna save your configuration, you can also save it here, and it'll show up here, where it says recent and saved. So in my test URL, you do notice that I have google.com. You can change that to any open web page that you want. This web page will be displayed every time you open up one of these browsers. They also have a mobile device version, which I don't really recommend because they have to find phones available for you to test. And I'm not sure about that kind of technique, but I do like this web browsing um, as you can see over here in my recent testings I've been using Microsoft Edge because I've had the most success with the game now I'm gonna choose a total different version I'm gonna go with Microsoft Edge but this time I'm gonna try 17 and my resolution I'm gonna put that to I'm going to select this one right here 
and I'm going to click start session. So now it's setting up my browser. Depending on your Wi-Fi and your processor on your laptop, the process will either go really fast or really slow. And yes, it does say Windows 10. Now it says loading live video. And you should see this is your web page here. I am on Microsoft Edge. Now you have a couple of little tabs over here where you can take a screenshot. You can stop your session by clicking stop. Just these are options on how satisfied you are. You click one and you click stop session. But without further ado, we're going to type in Roblox in the search. We're going to go straight to login. And if you're not on Roblox, you can create an account. It's simple, free, and easy. I do recommend if you are creating an account, you also set up your email address because if something happens on Roblox, you're going to want to be able to have access to restoring your account by resetting your password or changing your screen name. And now, as you can see, we are on the front page of Roblox. Now I'm going to go to Weightlifting Simulator 2. It doesn't matter what game you click on. Now this is the fun part. Well, sort of fun. You click Download and Install Roblox. Now this doesn't download on your actual screen, but this is downloading into your web browser. So to show you that it's installing Roblox. Now it says it's successfully been installed. Click OK. And now you click on any game that you want and it'll open up for you. Let's see, now it's loading. And now we are joining, joining a server. Sorry guys, I have a little, a little throat sore. And as I stated, not the best quality, but it is playable. And there I am. Now, I can show you I can move around. But it's not the best quality. I'm going to attack this guy right here. Click two. Fold him. He's dead. I'm going to run. I'm going to take out my weights. And I click to lift. Someone must have I thought that guy wanted to fight me for a second. He thought about it. He's not strong enough. And here you have it, folks. Proof that you can play Roblox. And I'm going to go attack this really big dude. There it goes. He's down for the count. If you guys enjoyed this gameplay, be sure to subscribe to me and share this video with your friends. That's all the time I got. So... I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.